What up guys? Welcome to your 27th Intermediate Draft Tutorial. Now before you even begin getting all excited that we're going to be learning new code, in our last tutorial I made a wee little mistake. Add a new line after this last percent %d, it's going to make it real easier for you in the future. So in this run method, make sure to add a new line right after this percent %d. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So anyways, we created this class called tuna which evidently made some object and had this run method in it and I told you guys I was going to teach you guys something about threads so let's actually create the thread so here's our code how do we create a thread from it well in order to create a thread here's what we need to do type thread and then give it a name t1 and then we need to set it equal to new thread and as your parameter for this, you write what class do you want to make that thread from. And we wanted to create it from the new tuna class. And aside from this, our tuna class has a constructor. And this is the name of the thread. So I'm going to name this first thread 1. And again, you can't pass a class in here unless it implements runnable so that's another thing it checks for so look at this let me take one of those ends away and look at this I get an error right here and says oh hold on you can't use this class it didn't implement runnable and that's because we spelled it runnable so again that's another thing you want to take note of so what this does is it creates a thread object from this class and again all this thread is going to do is it's going to give it a name, give it a time, and put it to sleep. Pretty much the most boring thing you can do to a thread. So let's go ahead and I told you guys, unlike regular code where you run something one, two, three, four, all of these things are going to run simultaneously. So let's go ahead and let me prove that. Um, let's go ahead and make two, three, we'll go ahead and make four threads and name them all. Two, three, four. So now we essentially have four different objects and each of those are on their own thread. So we have these threads created but we didn't start them out yet. They're just created waiting. They're like, come on, come on, let me go, let me go, let me go. So now before we shoot the gun and let them all loose, here is how we start them. T1 start and this is how you start a thread and whenever you let me just do this first I can uh, explain and type at the same time what do I look like a thread <laughs> get it wow that's like that's one of the best jokes I had so far wow if anyone's making like the best of Bucky video I would definitely put that in because I'm proud of that one and I'm probably going to use it in my uh like the next five tutorials so <sighs> just let that sink in for a moment and anyways so instead well, let me go ahead and run this see I keep thinking of ways to make this easier for you guys whoa easy there Hoss alright let's scroll up and alright so here's what we got we ran this in order one two three four but now it says three is sleeping, two is sleeping, four is sleeping, one is sleeping. And again, why is this random instead of order? Again, like I said, unlike before, your common way of thinking that things have to happen in order, everything pretty much gets shoved in all at once and all of these ran. Now check this out. Each of these threads is sleeping for a different period of time. See, number four is only sleeping for 22 milliseconds. So this wakes up first. Four wakes up first. And let's see, number three is only sleeping for 167 milliseconds. So that's the next to wake up. And then it's two, and then it's one. So again, unlike before, where everything had to happen one after the other after the other, I mean, one didn't have to go to sleep and wake up, and then two didn't have to go to sleep and wake up. What happened is they all went to sleep at the same time, different time, random times, and then they all woke up um you know when they were supposed to so let's walk through this one more time to see the power of threads what we did is we created this weird class called tuna 
that made it implemented runnable. And this means let me be able to use threads. I promise I'll use the run method. So each of these threads got a name, a time, and just a random time pretty much. So now what we did is we passed in these names, one, two, three, and four, and these were the names that we assigned to the threads. And we also assigned a random time to them. These were the random times. I hate when that does that. You know what it is, Windows 7, whenever you like drag it to the side, it expands for you. Oh, now I just messed it up. Oh, that's cool. Really? Quit expanding. Jeez Louise. Anyways, these were the random times. So now, your thread says, alright, I have this information, now what do you want me to do? Well, we gave you a bunch of information, and now whenever we want you to run, we just want you to print out you are sleeping for your name and time and then we want you to actually sleep and then when you wake up you say alright I'm done we should have wrote woke up or something clever like that but we didn't and in here what we did is in our main Bucky class we created each thread object or thread itself and we gave it a name and then once we created it we had to start it out and start pretty much means called the run method on it that's all it means so I mean in this example it wasn't the greatest of showing you how threads can be used because all we did is made some random things and put it to sleep but whenever we start creating useful programs which we don't do very often do we but once in a while we do then you're going to see the power of threads so hopefully you understand this a little bit more um, if you don't then um, just leave me like a hate comment and tell me how ugly I am and uh, tell me how worthless I am. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So don't forget, I'm going to be having all of the source code on my blog for you guys for free. So um, that's it. So don't forget to check out my blogs for all the free source code. Don't forget to subscribe and, well, I guess I'll see you later.